this was from stuff, part of the stand-up where Tova was trying to hold uh, Nicola Willis's feet to the fire over the ferries. It is still ongoing, and the rumour mill is going crazy at the moment that there is a um, there is cracks in the coalition around this and that mm. they can't get Winston to agree to what they want to do because Winston wants a rail-enabled ferry. Of course, the conspiracy theorists, I would probably jump on this conspiracy, are also saying that perhaps... It's because they're all vaxxed. No, I'm just kidding about that. Uh, it's because that maybe the other two parties want to pri- want to privatise, and obviously Winston's pretty anti that. So they're not figuring it out, and they're not doing very good at avoiding the question. So let's have a have a sixty second crack at Tova having a go at the Minister of Finance over the ferries. Yes, uh, across the three parties and the. Co- it's going to be at the start, show that'd be a nice um, idea. Clarify on the ferries. Sorry, have ministers got all of the advice that they that, that you need, or are you still waiting on further advice? Have you got everything you need? We're continuing to um, take advice. Right. Has, has New Zealand First told it? Is New- you know, you know, they're lying when you, a national party member says we're continuing to take advice. They don't take advice off anyone yeah. ever, ever, and ever. they are now apparently pretty keen to take advice rather than answer the question. New Zealand First holding this up. Uh, we're continuing to take advice as ministers. Ministers are all engaged in the process uh, across the three parties in the coalition. Uh, and are they we all aligned? Are testing they... proposals, asking questions, making sure that the decisions we make are based on good information and good advice. Ministers are all right. engaged, but are ministers... Decisions have to be made based on good advice. So, you know, it becomes less believable when every other stand-up, they've been, yes, we get advice, but we don't have to take it. Is all aligned? Are the coalition parties aligned? As I say, we haven't had a final cabinet discussion, so it would be premature to make any assessment of that. Is there some kind of conflict within cabinet about agreeing on those options, or what's taking so long? Uh, we're giving those uh, recommendations proper advice, proper consideration. We're taking a range of advice from our own officials. OK, and what's the hold-up? Uh, we're making <laughs> sure we get this right. The last government didn't. Can we get, can we get a sense of... The, oh. the time. How much do you think those words will come back to bite her in the ass? We're making sure we're going to get this right. The last government didn't when they're going to spend more than $3 billion and get a lesser product. How is that going to look when they've just said, we're making sure we get this right? You know, it'll come back. We'll get to the end of this. When we might get a decision. Yes, you'll hear a decision this year. There you go. So there's another part of the street, which actually then the story on stuff, uh, which was on TV3 tonight, which I want to play. But first, first reactions from you, sir? I cannot wait for this ferry thing to absolutely blow. Like, I will personally not let Nicola Willis away with this ever. Mm. Mm. Because they are going to have to announce at some point how much money we had to pay to break this contract. Yeah. And then they're going to have to tell us how much money it cost to get new replacement ferries. Yeah. And then we're going to be able to compare those ferries with the IREX project, with what yeah. we got. Yeah. Like, yeah. they they have doomed themselves with this. I, I'm kind of, I, I'm kind of a little bit torn over this because, you know, much like I guess you're saying, I, I, I vibe with them face planting. But the reality is we, the voters, the public of New Zealand, are going to lose, and I don't vibe with that. Yep. You know, so I kind of go, oh, can't wait till they embarrass themselves. But then I think about it and I go, if only they could have the the maturity to take a step back and go, guys, we fluffed this up something serious. We need to go back to, to Hyundai and see what we can work out because actually that was the best. Deal. It's never going to happen. Even if they did do that, Hyundai would say, why would we give you a product today based on, you know, mm. four-year-old um, prices? So on one hand, I go, it's going to be hilarious watching them face plant. But I think actually more than that, I'm just gutted that this is going to be a, this is going to be an absolute nightmare for New Zealand having a product purchased, which is going to cost more than the other ones were and be far, far, far more inferior for the next 40 years. That's what they've done. They've screwed public transport on the, on the straight for 40 years. It, That's it's what the only thing done. that it's the only thing that National's good at in the long term is making generational damage through their fuck ups. Yeah. Um, I I think look th- this is how this is how like there's there's a lot of 
people that what's a good metric for the for the fact that the country's going in the right direction and things are going well i will tell you right now what that metric is is that this show becomes 30 minutes <laughs> a tight yeah. 30 minutes nothing to complain and, about and, and maybe half of that is us talking about what tv shows we're watching we're not there yet yeah we're still hitting regularly 90 minutes an hour long show so yeah. there's your um metric.